Welcome to Getting Started with Studio Artist Part 2. This video will show the basics of the Paint Synthesizer's painting and drawing presets and touch upon the other main modes for creating art in Studio Artist. Studio Artist has several modes. In each mode there are presets arranged in collections and categories, just like the Paint Action Sequence presets we talked about in the last video. To get to the different modes in Studio Artist, you can use this pull-down menu here. Each mode does a different kind of image processing. For instance, the paint synthesizer does auto, assisted, and manual painting. The vectorizer turns raster images like photos into vector art. Image operations are like plugins, and they do image effects. Let's look at the paint synthesizer mode first. Just like the paint action sequence mode from the last video, presets appear in the preset window, and there are collections and categories. If we look at the collection pull-down, you will see auto painting, assisted painting, and manual painting, as well as erasers, tools, and Wacom tablet specialties for manual painting that take advantage of the Wacom pen and tablet. And you will see there are several categories for each collection. Studio Artist looks at the source image up here as a model, and then repaints it in the preset style here on the canvas. So let's try a few. I am also going to record my actions as a paint action sequence. First I will erase the current steps and check record. As my first step I am going to erase the canvas with this pull down menu on the top menu bar and make sure white is checked. Then I will start to layer in paint. Next I will add some edging, and finally a canvas texture. As you can see, all these steps were recorded as a paint action. It is best practice to uncheck the record button when you are finished so you don't get any unwanted steps recorded later. I'm going to save this preset in my favorites. The shortcut is to hold down the control key on Mac, or right click on Windows, and then mouse down in the paint action sequence window, and choose export paint action sequence. This will bring up the presets folder in your Studio Artist application. There are a lot of training videos on preset management that you can watch to learn how to organize your presets. For now I am just going to put this in my favorites folder. Now this paint action sequence preset is in my favorites folder and it shows up here. I will choose it and then press action and you can see it is playing back. I'm going to stop it by pressing the space bar. So now notice that since I chose my favorites preset and it was a paint action sequence preset, Studio Artist changed to the paint action sequence mode. So I'm going to go back to painting and clear the canvas to white. The paint synthesizer mode is also where you create photo mosaics as well, and there are several categories of photo mosaics here that you can try. There are other training videos on our website that show you how you can use your own images to make photo mosaics. I would also like to point out that there are now help tips for presets and you can find them here. Next, let's look at the assisted painting collection. Assisted painting can be done with the mouse or the Wacom pen. On many of the presets, the pen will yield more interesting results because Studio Artist is able to take advantage of the pen's interactive modulation features. But you can still do quite a lot with just a mouse. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using the Wacom pen and tablet. Next, let's try a new source image. As we said in the first Getting Started training video, when you choose New Source in Canvas, Studio Artist will automatically match the aspect ratio of your source image and also create a canvas that will fit on your screen. You can always change this by choosing Resize Canvas. Also, let's record another paint action sequence. I will just erase what's in the paint action sequence window and then check record. Now I will build up a painting using different presets in the assisted painting collection and also record a paint action sequence. So you can see each step was recorded, and we can play that back. Another way to save a paint action sequence preset is by choosing 
File, Export, and then choosing the Export Paint Action Sequence menu command. You should save these in your preset folder, in your Studio Artist folder, either in a Paint Action Sequence category or in one of your favorites categories. Again, there are more videos on the Synthetic website that show you how to organize presets. Another really fun category on the Assisted Paint Collection is the Magic Spiros. You can record these self-animating presets using the Movie Stream, which is explained in the real-time screen capture tutorial. These can also be used with the Action button or Loop Action. There are more Magic Spiros in Manual Painting as well. Next we will explore Manual Painting. Studio Artist has an extensive editor called the Paint Synthesizer. You can access the editor here. The Paint Synthesizer creates computationally complex and rich paints that respond to the canvas and to each other as well as the pen, reproducing the expressiveness of natural media. There is an extensive collection of natural media presets, from chalks to charcoals to oils to watercolors to pastels, acrylics, and specialty paints such as crow quills, sumis, and spray paints. There are also many more creative and wild styles way beyond natural media. There are wet paints, dry paints, smearing paints, and paints that take on a life of their own. Check them all out, and don't forget that you are never limited to the factory presets. You can edit the factory presets to make your own, or let Studio Artist generate new ones for you automatically. You can also tweak any paint preset with Studio Artist's extensive editor, which is addressed in other tutorials. Studio Artist also takes full advantage of all of the interactive Wacom Pen features, such as pressure, tilt, tilt orientation, and pen barrel rotation. As you can see with the spray paint preset, as I tilt the pen, it directs the flow of liquid paint. Right now, the color is coming from the source image. You can also use the color wheel here, or the palette here, and you can also use color gradients. There are more videos that address color more specifically. If you want to change the size of the brush width, just hold down the B key and then draw the size you want onto the canvas. You can also change the brush size in the editor under Brush Source. There are also many more videos on how to edit paints. There is also an onion skin, which you can toggle on or off using Command T for Mac or Control T on Windows. Make sure your canvas is blank when you check this out. Have fun trying out the paint presets. Next we will touch on some of the other modes in Studio Artist. The first mode is Image Operations. This is where you will find plugin like image effects. There are several categories of image effect presets that you can choose from. Most of these presets require that you start with an image in the canvas. The sketch effects are an exception. So to get started we can drag a source image into the canvas. Then pick a preset and press action. You will need to reset the canvas before you try another effect unless you want to build up effects. You can erase back to the source image by running undo which is command Z on the Mac or control Z on Windows. Or you can choose the eraser icon in the top menu bar. Since we dragged the image into the canvas, it is now set to clear the canvas to the source image. And remember, the shortcut to view presets is to hold down the Command key for Mac or the Control key on Windows and then click a preset, which will make it run. As you can see, there are a lot of categories. Let's try some sketch effects. This is the exception to the rule of starting with an image in the canvas for this mode. You can do either. You may want to use this mode to finish off a painting in the Paint Synthesizer by adding a sketch effect. If a preset is taking time, you can look to the bottom right of the screen to see if it is processing. Some presets are more complex and need more time to run. Let me quickly show you an example of blending the Paint Synthesizer with image operation effects. Let's start with a new image by choosing New Source and Canvas. This option, as we have said before, will automatically size the canvas to the aspect ratio of your source image. There is an editor for every preset in Studio Artist. 
you can toggle to the editor here to play around with the different settings. If you get something you like, don't forget to save your preset. There are several videos that show you how to organize and save your presets. Spend some time with the image operation presets to get a feel for what you can do with them. Next, we will look at the vectorizer. The vectorizer converts raster images, such as photos or video, into resolution-independent stylized vector art. Like everything in StudioArts, the vectorizer is also preset-driven, and each preset can be tweaked with the editor. New vector presets can also be made from scratch, or Studio Artists can make them for you automatically. The vectorizer is resolution independent. That means that you can start with a low resolution source image and create resolution independent effects. The vectorizer can output as vector files such as EPS and SVG to be used in other programs or for resolution independent printing. Editing is very easy. There are three editing panels, generation, drawing, and composite. The generator panel indicates what source the vectorizer is rendering from and what the main vectorizer technique is, plus various filtering operations. Let's try a few. The drawing panel adds outlines, backgrounds, and other effects, as well as manages color. Let's try a few different things. First, we can change the color scheme. Now let's add a black outline. The composite panel combines what is in the canvas and the output of the effect prior to compositing it into the canvas. Also new in Studio Artist 5, there is a secondary sketch effect in this panel. Let's try one and see what happens. We encourage you to play around with the editor settings in the vectorizer to see what you can come up with. Remember to save any great new presets that you make. Next we will look at the interactive warp and adjust modes. Please note there are separate training videos for the MSG mode, dual paint mode, and the Temporal Image Operations mode, as well as Selection and Bezier modes. Interactive Warp is a fun mode for mirroring and kaleidoscopic effects. Just move your mouse on the canvas to create effects. You can change the local radius of the effect here, and you can also change the compositing mode. Interactive Adjust works in the same way as Interactive Warp, by moving your pen or mouse on the canvas. In Adjust mode, you can change things like the image's hue, luminance, saturation, and sharpening, as well as add line screens or gradient effects. You can also change the kind of compositing to get different effects. So before we end this Getting Started video, I would like to show you how to combine all the modes that we just reviewed into a single paint action sequence. Save the paint action sequence, and then use it on another image. So first I will erase the paint action sequence and check record. Next I will go to the paint presets, choose a paint preset and then press action. It's good practice when you are done with a paint action sequence to uncheck record. Next I will save my paint action sequence to my favorites by pressing Ctrl on Mac or right click on Windows and then mousing down on the paint action sequence window to bring up this contextual menu. When I go to apply it to another image, notice that I didn't clear to white, so I'll add that step and then play the modified paint action sequence on a new image. Now let's save the modified paint action sequence. 
Have fun with Studio Artists, and if you have any questions, please contact us through our support tab on any page of our website. We are happy to help you seven days a week 